Hey Oddings, it's your Ate Sapphire. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors who, without them, the show would not be possible. Did you know that fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world? That's pretty scary, right? That's actually one of the many reasons I love to shop secondhand, and my favorite place to do so is on ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the largest online consignment and thrift store. The website is super easy to navigate. You can filter the items by size, style, silhouette. I have a lot of weddings to attend this year and it was so easy to find amazing dresses at such great prices. I got this Aiden Maddox dress that was originally $395 for only $50. And I can't even tell that these dresses are used. And that's because everything on ThreadUp is hand inspected and triple checked for quality. They add over 50,000 new items every single day. So you are guaranteed to find something you'll love. Get an extra 30% off your first order when you go to threadup.com SS or click the link in the description below. And now back to the show. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? The Nine Deaths. The following story was submitted by Jean. This is a true story their best friend Lawrence told them. My name is Lawrence. I was 13 years old at the time. My mom and I were on a trip to my hometown in India visiting some family. When we arrived, I went to take a shower and freshen up. I'm still not entirely sure how it happened, but I slipped and hit my rear end pretty hard on the floor. I remember my mom pounding on the locked door to let her in while I lay there crying nonstop. After I calmed down a bit and let her in, I remember her examining the floor and being really confused because the floor was bone dry. I had slipped before I even stepped into the shower. That was just the beginning. Later that evening, my mom needed to run some errands and she left me alone in the house. I began to write in my diary about the trip so far. That's when I heard something grumble. It was my stomach. So I hopped out of bed to grab some snacks from the kitchen. I opened the door and as I took a step forward, the door slammed back shut, hitting my head hard. I fell backward and onto the carpet. I screamed as I saw and felt blood dripping near my eyes. It hurt so bad. My vision was blurring and I passed out. But before I did, I remember hearing a laugh <laughs> that sounded like a woman's. I woke up. I felt terrible pain on my forehead and I touched the area. It wasn't wet. There was no blood, no swelling, only pain. I was still on the ground. I looked around me, no blood on the door. No blood there either. The door was still cracked halfway open and I was still home alone. This type of thing kept happening to me. I would get inexplicably hurt, but ultimately end up fine. Like the next day, I was hit by a bus. Another day, a knife flew at me while I was alone in the kitchen. One time I began choking out of nowhere. Every time something like this happened, I heard that same eerie laugh. <laughs> The day before my 14th birthday, I decided to tell my mom. I had counted eight times that I had nearly died and I didn't want it to happen anymore. While I was explaining every incident to her, I could see the blood drain from her face. She grabbed my hand and pulled me outside, her other hand making calls on her cell phone. I remember feeling really scared. Did I do something wrong? A short ride later, we arrived at a church. The rest of my family was already waiting there. They ushered me inside and my grandma proceeded to tell me what was going on. So the story went that my aunt Natasha became a teenage mother around the time my parents got married. She lived alone at the time, so no one knew about the baby. Unfortunately, she hated her baby girl, Lawrence. She hated her so much that she tried to kill her multiple times slipping in the bathroom, slamming her head by the door, pushing her at a bus stop, throwing a knife at her, cutting her fingers, strangling her, poisoning her, throwing her out the balcony of the fifth floor, drilling her skull. Lawrence died on the ninth try. She died around the same time that I was born. 
The only reason my family knows about any of this is because when Aunt Natasha visited me for the first time and heard my name, Lawrence, she confessed everything. I was just three years old at the time. My family had her committed to an institution after that. So the priest at the church blessed me in hopes of removing the curse that Aunt Natasha had put on me. And it seems to have worked so far. It's been a year and I haven't had any more near-death experiences. I'm just glad that I told my parents about what was going on when I did. If I had waited any longer, things might have ended a lot differently. <laughs> so how did you sleep last night? Did you have nightmares from all the scary stories you listened to? Not getting a good night's rest can really throw off your whole day. And if you had a purple mattress, there is no tale scary enough to ruin your sleep. Purple mattresses are firm and soft at the same time because they're made from a brand new material developed by an actual rocket scientist. They keep you supported and yet still very comfortable at the same time. And they're breathable, so you stay cool. So if you want to get a better night's sleep, try Purple for a 100-night risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. You heard me right. That's how confident Purple is that you'll love it. And if that's not enough, every mattress comes backed by a 10-year warranty and is shipped to your home for free. And while they're at it, Purple will set up and remove your old mattress for you as well. You're going to love Purple. And right now, our listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text SS to 84888. Message and data rates may apply. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially Natasha, who had a character named after them in this week's episode. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarled. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, sweet dreams. <laughs>